Zero conditional. What is the zero conditional? Well, we usually use the zero conditional to talk about things which are always true or things which always happen as a result of something else. We're not talking about a specific event here, but rather something which is generally true. Hence, we often use the zero conditional for facts. For example, what do you think this mad scientist is trying to say? Sometimes the things we talk about are not facts, but rather general truths. How can we make a zero conditional statement about budget airlines in this situation? Zero conditionals can also be used to describe routines and habits. Preferences Rules and laws Causes and effects. Uh. We can even use the zero conditional to talk about superstitions. and even proverbs. However, sometimes zero conditionals are also used for specific situations. For example, to give instructions. To offer suggestions and advice. And to make requests. Let's have a quick test to see if you understand everything using the example If I mix hydrogen with oxygen, it turns into water. What is the function of this sentence? Is it a suggestion? A request? A habit? General truth? What is it? It's a fact. Has he mixed hydrogen and oxygen together in the past? We don't know. Is he mixing them now or will he mix them in the future? The zero conditional doesn't give us this information, so we shouldn't know. However, from watching the video earlier, we do know that he will mix them soon. Otherwise, we wouldn't know. Because zero conditionals don't talk about the past, present or future. They talk about things which are always true. Now, let's have a look at the form of the zero conditional. If plus present simple, comma, plus present simple. If I mix hydrogen with oxygen, 
it turns into water. We can also use when or unless to replace if. When I stir fry vegetables, I prefer olive oil. Unless I'm late for work, I always catch the train. Modals are common in zero conditionals and can be used in either of the clauses. If you eat too much junk food, you can get fat. Imperatives are common in the results clause when we describe rules and laws. If you're in class, don't use your phone. Give instructions. If Bill comes here again, tell him I'm not scared of him. Offer suggestions and advice. If you go to the beach, put on lots of sunscreen and make requests. If you go past the grocery store, get a few things for me, please. Instead of using the present simple, we can also use the present continuous in either of the clauses. We can even use the present perfect in either clause. So in summary, we use the zero conditional to talk about things which are always true or things which always happen as a result of something else. This includes facts, general truths, routines, habits, preferences, rules and laws, causes and effects, superstitions and proverbs. We can also use the zero conditional for specific situations such as giving instructions, offering suggestions and advice and making requests. If you've enjoyed our video, please visit our website at umanzu.com for more videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and like, comment and share our videos. And make sure you tell your friends and colleagues about Umanzu.